All right, so I'm hitting you somewhere a little different. Just wanted to show this off since I failed the old lady. I might as well show this since this only happens when that happens. So uh, we're just waiting for Sakan to slowly prance his way up to the uh, register here. 100. 200. It's 50 now. Dang, just getting scammed. He wants his fair share. Alright, so yeah. He buys the bomb bag for 50. So uh, we'll just leave now. Also, I did clear both uh, Woodfall and uh, Snowhead. We just gotta wait for uh, Sakan to leave. I honestly don't remember if he actually leaves through the front door or not here, or he just disappears. I'm assuming he does leave. Yeah, he's about to leave. Do you speak after that? Yeah. But anyways, no. I want to speak with our boy here. Are you serious? Alright, I'm gonna have to wait for him to leave, aren't I? Well, you can watch him very slowly prance. There we go. <laughs> hmm, maybe not. Oh well. Maybe I have to wait for a second here for him to actually leave the shop. My frames are dying here. Alright, I need to make sure I stay over here. Just to speed things up a bit. But uh, I also counted wrong. It's actually only five frogs, not six. So there's only one more frog for me to show because I got the other one in the woodla uh, Woodfall Temple. Are you done, dude? All right, see you later. <laughs> Guess not. Hopefully I didn't mess it up or I won't be able to show the uh, mass we can get later on day three. But anyways, I might as well... Just speed things up here and go over there real quick. So we want to go to the swamp. And do some stuff in the water. And there's our last frog friend right here. Yes, there's spring in the mountains. And now we can go to Mountain Village. Finish this off once and for all. While the... Little frog toes grip my eyeballs so tenderly with this mask on. We'll uh, direct this little frog choir. Let us begin.
And we get a heart piece, and we never have to wear this monstrosity of a mask again. And from the re for the rest of the cycle, you can hear the little frog singing or choir. Let's see here. So. I guess what I can do... I don't really care about the potential bomb bag you can buy at the curiosity shop, so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go to Milk Road and make it daytime real quick. Use this song in a while. But we are gonna slow down time. Because we're gonna need as much time as possible, although I will be probably safe stating this next little section here. So with the way cleared, you can actually uh, go back here without having to do much. Save our 50 rupees, but in, in exchange we let a girl get abducted and completely messed up in the head. Real hero right there. Anyways, we're actually gonna show off a little mini game I didn't show off uh, last time I was here, which was uh, quite a while ago. Which is the doggy racetrack. You might remember the little dog mentioning when I picked up this mask. So here is where I'm gonna save stay real quick. Cause this uh this minigame's annoying at at the very least. Hopefully I get on my first try, but I don't count on it at all. Anyways. Yes, I know it's the Dougie racetrack. Yes, I want to try. Huh. Alright, so she tells us to bring a dog. So, with the Mask of Truth, when you pick up a dog... I feel unstoppable. Ah, this one's potentially a good one. Well, let me see here. Do pretty well? Nope, you're trash. What about you, buddy? Nope. Let's see, what about you? Nope. Trash. You guys are not motivated to win at all. What about a blue boy? Nope. Not even blue boy. There we go. I'm here for my wife and family. This, this is usually the dog you want. Yes. So, triple bet. So basically, I think the trick to this game is you want to get at least 150 rupees to get a heart piece. So the minimum bet is 50 if you get first place. You can bet more to kind of lower the price, but basically 80 is the... The maximum really because you only get double and you well 75 because you only get double if you get third or second so we're gonna go with the 50 and see if our dog wins I swear if uh, blue boy or one of the other ones I picked up wins I'm gonna be kind of mad Uh, 
Let's see, right now we're sitting at fourth. Oops, third. But uh, I don't count on it. I usually only really get excited if he's actually winning right around here, or close to winning. Dang it, he got third, I think. That's unfortunate. Now we got, uh... Yeah, we only got, uh... Our money back so yeah you want second for double and first place for triple I should do all right nope you won't I feel, nope gold boy tell me you're gonna win nope you're too old all right I'll leave you alone all right I'm gonna trust blue boy this time maybe nope I won't trust him Do pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick up the one that says I'm unstoppable or something. Well, I'm gonna try the wiping kit again. But if this doesn't work... Yeah, triple and double. Man, why are you so angry? I'm just trying to win here. So let's see if wiping kits is guaranteed or not this time. Alright, we got a white doggers this time instead of a, I guess, beige. Hmm, he doesn't seem to be doing very well. But we'll see. Usually you don't want the dog to be winning at the very start of the race. Alright. He's at the top four at least, but I don't think he's gonna win. Nope. Gold Boy did a lot better than... I mean, blue... Uh, was it gold or blue? I don't remember. Alright. I'm gonna try again on screen, but if I fail uh, again this time... I'm gonna load up the save state I made, or I'm just gonna make another one, since I already showed you guys. But, uh... I'm gonna try one more time on screen, but if I don't get it this time, I'm just gonna off screen it. No, you won't do pretty well. Well... I should have picked the, the one time I picked up the one dog. He's too old, alright. Alright, if Grey Boy wins, I'm gonna be mad. Alright, a lot of these beige ones are saying they're gonna do okay, but it's not what I want. Maybe one of the brown dogs. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm gonna be mad at this one does worse than the other two. I don't... I don't need you huffing at me every time and telling me the rules every time, lady. Alright, let's see if Unstoppable is really how you feel. And he even started late on the race. Doesn't look good so far. I don't think he's gonna do it, guys. He's literally doing terrible right now. He's not even at the top seven, I think. Nah, he's totally not gonna make it. He's gonna get... This is probably the first time I'm gonna lose my money, aren't I? Yeah. I got sixth, I think. And there's Blue Boy. <laughs> and she gives you the hint about feeling, but... Honestly... It's all bullcrap. Anyways, I'm gonna load the save state and I'll see you guys when I actually get the win. And there's Blue Boy again. So, I finally got it. 
Took me uh, two more, two more tries after that. I tried uh, light feet and unstoppable again, and those didn't work. And I tried wife and kids again, and that time it worked. So honestly, there's not much you can do. I won over 150 rupees, or exactly 150, so we get the bonus prize. A heart piece. No, I do not want to play your stupid enemy. In. Yeah, really. All right. Um, I think there's something I can do besides actually turning in the um, stray fairies because I didn't. I forgot about it. There's a minigame we can play only after we uh, clear Great Bay Temple. This is a good time to do it, so I might as well. This one's way easier, though. So this boat's gonna be here now. We can climb on it. And take a bit of a slow ride, but uh, basically we're gonna go to that little island over there. Actually, we'll have the Sora mask on the side. Once we get close enough to the island, we wanna hookshot to it. Come on. So we play 20 rupees and we played a jumping game. So, we want to go to the center item. This is actually a pretty easy game. So he's gonna light the torches, and we have to jump to the one with the fire. And we want 20 points, or more. Yeah. So... The trick to this is just uh, making sure you turn around, see target, and walk away. Also, the other trick to this game is... The fire cannot be the one you were just on, so if you strain yourself out, you'll immediately see the fire that is the one you're supposed to get to. This is actually a really easy game because the time limit's super lenient. You don't even need to roll for these jumps. It's the one on the right, I can barely see it because of the screen. But if you want to feel safe, go ahead and roll. But as long as you take it slow and steady, you'll get this game real easy. Just try not to get, uh, try not to take angled jumps though. Just make sure you're centered. And we got to 20, so we're in the clear. If you want, you can just. Uh, sit in the middle island and just call it a day, but I just like to keep going just for fun. Just be careful not to fall though. I don't remember if you lose even if you got the score. So if you're not inclined to being risky like I just did and almost messed up my jump, uh, just sit at the middle island. I don't think I'm gonna get another so I'm just gonna sit here.
thanks. And now we have another heart piece. Alright, so I'm going to go turn in uh, our stray fairies that I forgot to turn in. This uh, stray fairy cave is actually a little bit off the beaten path. We do need to hook shut though, but uh, let's see. If I remember right, it's down this way. Yeah, and we should be going to these islands over here. And here we go. <laughs> the Great Fairy of Courage. She gives us probably the best reward. She increases our strength, which means... This. So our defense is doubled. So now I take half damage. Just as a heads up, I probably will still collect the last stray fairies on the last temple, but uh, the reward is not really that worth. Just letting you know. But I think now if we go to clock down. I need to check my notebook though. Not quite, we need to wait a little bit longer. We're gonna go with normal time now. We just gotta wait for that to open so we can have the curiosity shop owner give us the letter to Cafe's mother. So I'm gonna time sk uh, I'm gonna just gonna cut here. So give me a second here. All right. So 
now that we're here. Hello. Yes, I'm the green hat kid. Right, so he gave us the hint that he's in Inkana Canyon. So, we're gonna go there. Alright, so, if we go over here, I've shown this little area before. You're gonna see Cafe chilling back here. He's using that safe house. Only Sakan can open it, so we have to wait for him. So. If you notice here on the time, it's right around uh, 6. So I'm just going to put on the stone mask and I'll, um, I'm not even going to move here. But uh, I'll cut until he actually shows up. So give me a moment. Alright, so now that it's 6, uh, he should be showing up in a few moments if I remember right. Any second now. Also, a word of warning, do not move from here until the cutscene triggers. Even if you're wearing the stone mask, yes, as a precaution, but... I think you can actually see through it, so just stay behind this rock until the cutscene triggers. And right around here. So 7 o'clock. On the dot. So if you're feeling inclined, you can actually just uh, double time to this point and make sure you're behind this rock before 7. So Cafe goes right after him. And just to be safe, we're actually going to do this. I don't know if it actually affects it affects anything here, but I play just to be safe. All right, so let's put our bunny hood real quick, and we're at Sakan's hideout. There's a mask right there. There's the mask he got uh was robbed from him. I mean, and he steps on the obvious switch. Yes. So they gave us a quick rundown of how this works. So press the button, open the door, turn it. To, we actually control cafe, and we need to help him retrieve his mask before it's too late. But if we take too long, well, we lose the mask. So this is very simple, you actually want to just push the block into the button, this one's easy enough. So the next room doesn't really have a mechanism. Yeah, we should help them. Okay. 
so here we're introduced to the yellow and the red switches. So yellow switches uh, slow down time on the lever for, I mean that lever, the conveyor belt for a little bit. And the red one speed it up. So you have to be careful not to step on them. So this one's a, a bit of a backwards thing you might be thinking about here. So now it's permanently slow. And we need to push this one down. And step on the button. And then uh, we're all gonna step on this button now. Uh, just keep an eye out on the bu on the uh, hole though. Whoa, the mask just appeared there. We got it just in time. All right. And he gets the sun mask. He even gets the jingle that we get when we get a mask. And he says there's still time to get back to town. So right as we leave. It's already danger time. We apparently took six, uh, five hours to retrieve the mask. Anyways, we're going back to town. Alright, before we uh, go help out Cafe, I need to check the curiosity shop real quick, just to double check. Are you selling what I want? No, you're not. So yeah, you need to save the old lady. Yeah. So yeah, you have to make sure you save the old lady. So I couldn't do that on this one. Oh well. We'll just get that later. So I'm just gonna deposit my rupees in that case. I don't think the song of, uh, what's it called? The inverted song of time is actually doing anything here specifically, I don't think, actually. Let's find out. Yes, at this point it's, lit it's running on real time. It's not running on the, the clock. But let's find out, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's going faster or slower. Alright, let's collect our money then in the meantime. There we go. A bit of a... Tight squeeze there. Oh, it's the other side. If I remember right, um, yeah, it's like literally like at the end 
where he actually shows up. But, uh, there is something we can do real quick, ourselves. We need to have our cafe mask, oops, and our... We need the cow mask, actually. Because we need the cow mask to go in here, which we didn't have before the first time we completed the quest for the most part. Well, yeah. And now that we're in here, we want to use cafe's mask. And we need the special letter. Hello. Mm-hmm. I did find him. Here you go. And we get a Chateau Romani. Not that it matters at this point. But the important part is we got the bottle. Enjoy the flavor to the fullest. So she's just awaiting uh, the moon at this point. But we gave her some happy news at least. We found Cafe, he's alive and well. For the most part. Let's see. Yeah, uh, we're about to end this cycle right here. But I, would, I am gonna show the last cutscene before I leave this cycle. I'm probably a little bit over time, but maybe I'm not depending on how much cutting I did. Let's see, did I actually get the money? Oh, I lost my key. I thought I had a key. What the hell? Oh, well, whatever. We can get this money. And here's Anju. She's waiting for him, and she believes in him, which is actually pretty sweet. But now we have to wait until the two minute mark, I think. So give me a moment and I'll cut until that time happens. All right, so it's actually at around a minute 30 that he actually shows up. So I'll just be quiet here. This is what we get. We get the couple's mask. So, with this mask and these two happy, we are gonna deposit our money and leave this cycle behind us because we're about to uh, die if we don't. So, I'm gonna just uh, run along here and uh, deposit my money. Anyways, guys. Uh, since I'm gonna restart the cycle, I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit before I deposit my money. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.